Um, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Steve Nelson from Tulane, uh, and uh, he'll tell you his whole story as we, as we go along, but um, basically uh, he was kind enough to give us a tour, I think the first year, I think every year he's, he's managed to give us a tour, um, even though it, he does this for free and he's got all his other schedules and all that kind of stuff, so we're very grateful. He not only has done it for us, how many tours have you done? What's the most number? <laughs> Almost 400 tours to all kinds of folks, to the school groups like you guys, to to uh, politicians and, and stuff like that. Um, and so we're really lucky. So the stuff that he's going to show you, um, and we may, might need some help, but sometimes it holds them up. It's a little breezy here or something. All this stuff, these resources are all available to you guys when we're done uh, on his website for, for free and in part or in whole. And, uh, and yeah, so... Um, so there you go. I'll, I'll let Steve take it away. <clears throat> all right. Well, the reason I keep doing this is because I, I'm kind of passionate about people's, first of all, the rest of the country really understanding what happened. Uh, but also because similar kinds of situations exist all over the world, all of the time. Uh, as any geologist can tell you, you build stuff on the ground, you got to know what's in the ground so it doesn't fall down and hurt you. In theory. <laughs> you should, you can't, you, yeah. I mean, you can't always be successful with that, but at the same time, you shouldn't make as many mistakes as were made here. Uh, and uh, although Katrina was the driving force behind the disaster that occurred here, uh, it wouldn't have been nearly as bad had there not been lots of mistakes made. Uh, uh, I usually start off by uh, talking about some myths that I've encountered doing all of these field trips. Impressions that people have. Uh, getting, it's getting a little bit better, but uh, I just published a paper uh, on my website um, on myths of Katrina. You, know, you, know, you ask different people, and different people come up with different ones. I concentrated on five myths uh, that I encounter all the time on these field trips. Uh, the first is that on August 29, 2005, Hurricane Katrina passed by here. It didn't really hit me once. Eye of the hurricane was about 60 miles from the east. Uh, but nevertheless, it passed by. New Orleans survived pretty well. There was a lot of wind damage, but all in all, it was still in pretty good shape, surprising shape. And then the next day, all of these levees started breaking all over the place and then completely flooded the city. Everyone knows the city is very funny. <clears throat> now, that's the story I believed for those first few days. I evacuated. I take my own advice. And <laughs> I'm dying. Get the hell out, right? So I, I evacuated the Houston. It was a terrible uh, drive. It normally takes six hours to get to Houston from here. It took about 14 hours. Uh, <clears throat> got there uh, two days before Katrina. Katrina hit, and everybody was reporting New Orleans was in good shape, so I was going to make go back. So the next day, that's Tuesday morning, you know, Monday morning, I got up on Tuesday morning, ready to pack up and come back to New Orleans and turned on the TV and said, wow, all of these levees are broken all over the place. All right? Well, the reason that it was reported that way is because after the hurricane passed, all of these levees actually broke at 10 o'clock in the morning as that hurricane was passing. On Monday? On Monday, yeah. The press were all down in the French Quarter. The French Quarter down there is at high altitude. It's at 17 feet above sea level. <laughs> altitude, good word. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and the city's pretty flat otherwise, and it took a while for that water to get on the edge of the French Quarter. It never flooded the French Quarter, but as it got there, then people realized that these levees had things. Now, it was known to some emergency workers on the afternoon of the train hit on the night. But it didn't become widely published. Okay, well, they've, they've made the corrections on it. They continue to follow the news those, 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 those a few days after the trade was finally realized and the press was reporting it correctly. But lots of people got it in their head just from that first day or two that the levees had reached the next day. And in fact, sometimes the press still messes it up. As recently as uh, uh, two years ago, on the anniversary of Katrina, the national news reporter got on there and said, 
This is the anniversary of the destruction of Hurricane Katrina, and had it not been for the levees breaching the next day, New Orleans would have survived just fine. And I had talked to that guy not more than two days before telling him this myth. And so he just reads it off the teleprompter that somebody else wrote, I guess, but it was really difficult to get it out of people's heads. And I teach natural disasters every year. I bring them on this field trip. I tell them this story. I tell them there's going to be a true or false question on the first midterm exam, and that 50% of them are going to get, get it wrong, even though I told you the answer. <laughs> and you guys would never do that, of course, clearly. You definitely sound like a teacher. <laughs> true or false, New Orleans survived Hurricane Katrina quite well on the morning of August 29th as the hurricane passed by, and then the next day it flooded. But they still miss it. Then it gets even worse. I give it to him again on the final exam, and I also have a question. It's just a freebie question, right? What's the most important thing you learned in this course? And I give credit for just about anything they want to put there, <laughs> except when somebody puts the most important thing I learned was that the levees broke the day after Katrina. <laughs> Failure! <laughs> Well, that's negative. Okay. Does that mean if you have a C grade at that point, you're, you're now getting an F? Huh? <laughs> I'd like to grade it on one question. So. You probably don't have a 